time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Coming in at number 52 on the 49ers 2023 roster cut down, back up center interior offensive lineman Nick Zakel. We didn't get to see much of him last year, but don't let that fool you. The Niners could not be any higher on this player long term. They love him. Last year was number 56. This year, 52 has inched up past that 53 man threshold. I fully do expect him to make the roster this year as the backup center for the 49ers. Now, I have to give credit to the man, Josh, the 49ers guru, did amazing research on this episode. And it's always fun whenever, you know, you do a player and all the research last year, and then we get to add more, and you just constantly find more fun tidbits about this player. Um, He wears jersey number 63 for the 49ers. Height and weight, awesome, 6'5", 315. He's built like a left tackle. The problem is his arm length, 32 and 7 eighths inch. It's bottom 17% of NFL offensive linemen, and that's why he's being kicked inside. You know, Kyle Shanahan has a proclivity of going after these forgotten prospect traits players um nfl teams they do not like having offensive linemen with short arms kyle shanahan scheme the outside zone the inside zone doesn't rely so much on arm length as it does athleticism which he's got athleticism in spades 24 years old still young he ran a 5.13 40 yard dash which is the top 77th percentile of all the offensive linemen and even better than that that 10 yard split a 1.72 top 87 percent of nfl offensive linemen so he's got the burst he's got the quickness he's got the nasty streak he's got all those things 27 bench press reps very very strong upper body now if if you plug in all of his metrics into mock draftable um these are the the comps, the player comps that come across, Ethan Posick, Billy Turner, Max Sharping. These are the types of body types and athleticism that the Niners get with Nick Zakel. Now, he's had a crazy journey. Let's just be very, very honest. He grew up outside of the Cleveland area, went to Brexville Broadview High School, um, the Fighting Bees, which I actually like their mascot quite a bit. He's as smart as they come. He was accepted into Yale and chose not to go there <laughs> because he wanted to focus a little bit more on sports. Went to Fordham instead, graduated with a bachelor's in finance, and then a master's in business. Loves analyzing sports metrics. Uh, He's talked at length about just how great Barry Bonds is and going through the on-base percentages and walks. And I mean, this cat is special on and off the field. When the Niners drafted him in 2022, they did not draft one gold helmet guy that year. But Adam Peters came out and said... Man, he was as close to a gold helmet guy as we could get. They didn't give him the classification, but they said of all the players they drafted in 2022, he was the closest by far. Now, let's go through a little bit more of his background. Was a team captain in 2021. Um, Earned all Patriot League honors for four years. One of just 24 players in league history to earn all league honors all four years. It hasn't happened very often. Um, was the 2019 Lansing, Lansing Trophy recipient, four-year starter on the offensive line, All-Patriot team first selection 2020 and 2021, and he started as a true freshman back in 2017. The Fordham, one of the Fordham assistants, Ian Pace, uh, this comes out in an interview from The Athletic. Um, if you just type in Mix to Kill Athletic, this is the first thing that comes up if you want to go check out the whole article. He was talking about how they had an NFL prospect running back, Chase Edmonds, uh, several years ago. And this is from the assistant coach, Ian Pace. Quote, when they came in to watch practice, talking about NFL teams, a few years ago, they'd see this monster puppy face kid who didn't have facial hair yet running around like a son of a gun. Um, He's now the head coach, Ian Pace is, of New Jersey Somerville High. And he said, you know, everybody would be like, who's that? Because it was just, they didn't know who he is. And we would say, well, that's Nick. And they said, well, we'll be back. And they did come back. And he mentioned the 49ers coming back several times. Adam Peters came out. And um, John Lynch said, we've been watching Nick Zakel for a long time. And it makes sense because he checks all the boxes, right? 2021 Patriot League Academic Honor Roll, Team Captain, National Honor Society, all those different things. 
Now, what was even more interesting, Coach Conlin, who is now the head coach at Fordham, he was an assistant at Harvard for a very long time. So so long, in fact, he was one of Kyle Juszczyk's coaches at Harvard. Now he's at Fordham. So you have this, this link between Coach Conlin, who coached Kyle Juszczyk, and he also coached Nick Zakel. Um, this is from Coach Conlin. Quote, he's very similar to Kyle Juszczyk. Uh, he's one of the smartest football players I've ever been around. Nick and Kyle are very similar in how they approach practice and how they think about the game. Those guys just absorb it. It's very important to them. He takes care of his body. He'll be a great asset, end quote. That's pretty damn high regard, uh, no doubt about it. Now, he played tackle position, 27 starts at left tackle, 7 at, at right tackle. Last year, guess who he roomed with? Brock Purdy. Guess where they got him getting reps now? Center. This is the long-term plan. Zakel to Purdy, they're they're close friends, they're roommates. You've got the camaraderie, you've got the you know familiarity by sharing a room and all those things. It just makes sense. Now, Nick Zakel didn't see the field very much last year, if at all. You know they drafted him in the sixth round, pick number one eighty seven. It is interesting how we got Nick Zakel. We actually had to make a trade to get him. Not that they necessarily traded up for him, but the year before. They traded Jonas Griffin. You remember the linebacker out of Indiana State? He was on the show, a uh, friend of the show. You can type in Jonas Griffin, 49ers rush, it'll pull up. But they traded Jonas Griffin and a seventh rounder to jump up in the sixth round. So they jumped up from 250 to 187, almost 70 spots. And sure enough, they held on to that pick. In the sixth round, they selected Nate Sakel. Now, he played in two regular season games this, this, this year, both blowouts. Carolina Week 5 blew them out. They fired their coach. And then Arizona Week 18, that wasn't really even a game. 12 offensive snaps, 21 special team snaps. How did he do in that time? Not great. 53.7 overall grade, 54.5 run blocking grade, 62.2 special teams grade. Now, last year... They were playing Nick Sakil at guard this year in OTAs and minicamp center. And when they drafted Nick Zakel, they said, we think Nick can play center for us, which is a very valued position. This is a long-term play. Now, they went out and extended Jake Brindle. However, if you look at that contract, it's not really like it's the Niners are tied to Jake Brindle long-term. It's one of the most team-friendly center deals in the NFL. Doesn't mean that they're ready to move on. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's just you have a budget type, <coughs> excuse me, center in Jake Brindle. That's excellent in pass protection, pretty suspect in the run game. Nick Zakel, if he can catch on, probably a whole nother year before he could compete. Now, if there was an injury or something along those lines, he steps in, does well, great. But Nick Zakel is a long term foundational piece that they want to take over at the center position i'm excited to see what he can do in training camp because again this is he learned the guard position first now he's at center could be one of those flex daniel brunskill type players long term but i think they want him at center it's just he's never played it and they didn't even put him there last year they wanted him to learn the guard position first he did that now he's learning the center position and I think that's where they want him long term. But again, this is still a slow moving operation. The Niners love to redshirt rookies anyway, which you could say, okay, Nick Sakel's been redshirted, but now they just changed his position to where he should be, which is center. I think you got to put another year on it. Backup center is an important thing. 49ers lost five centers just three years ago throughout training camp. Nick Sakel's going to have an opportunity to see the field, but. I want to see what he can do. Preseason, it's going to be one of the most interesting spots to watch. Uh, I'll be keeping my eyes on jer on jersey number 63, and I hope you will too. Easy kid to root for, smart as hell. The Niners got a type. He's just got to learn a little bit more and get a little bit more experience. And again, he's 24. He's still got time. Still got time. So that's Nick Zakel coming at 52. I fully expect him to make the roster. Excited to see what the smart kid can do this year.